I've been trying to pre-populate my database with information uh, to help illustrate some concepts and I uh, would like to show uh, one type of relationship creation that's similar to services and, and churches. If uh, you remember from our, our database, we, we created a, a service by going through our churches entity so that would create this relationship and that's really straightforward because there's only this one relationship here but if we want to create a similar relationship between users and rides there's the ride that's provided by the user and there's the rides that are um, taken by users and so we could potentially create a relationship here or through here and so I wanted to just make it clear how we uh, did that. And in order to do that, I just want to remind you that uh, the user model is going to have many rides provided, it's going to have many user rides, and those represent those two relationships. And so you can create uh, via e either of those. Uh, I suppose you could create through here is actually more likely the rides one that goes through the user rides. You can create through either of those and so I'm going to show you uh, quickly how to do that. So if I grab some uh, users, so these are all my users, let's say I grab say the, the third one in that list here right here. So I'm going to set that to my user variable here and what I can do is I can say u dot rides provided and that's going to say that I want to access that relationship. If I access that right now I don't have any. It's an empty array because I haven't created any rides provided. And so I can do dot uh, create and I can put in here my attributes uh, and that will work but I'm going to show you that I can create that ride provided without any attributes to start with. So now I've got our, my ride provided for that particular user ID. All the other attributes are, are nil right here because they haven't been set. No, nothing was set here in the, the create. And so let's, let's go ahead uh, oh, and I didn't get a handle to that. So let's go back here. Now we have that th those rides provided so if I grab the first one that's that first ride provided and I'm gonna say R equals that. Okay so now I've got that 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 ride that's been provided there and I can set these things. So I can set my uh, service that I'm providing the ride for. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the first service that I've got listed and notice that I set it to an object. Service.first is an object. I could have done, um, since that services ID is one, I could have done r.service ID equals one. It would have accomplished the exact same behavior, um, but then I have to actually look up the ID. The nice thing about what I did here is I just assigned the object to this method and it figures out what the ID is and, and sets up the, the relationship for me. Um, let's go ahead and set the remaining attributes here. So let's set the ride date and for my next example I need it to be the 2nd of November. I am going to set the leave time to be 8.30 in the morning. I'm going to set the return time to be 11.30 that same morning. I'm going to set this to be a van so it's going to have seven seats and I am going to say that there are five still left to be used. I am going to set the meeting location to the DC and the um, vehicle to a van. Let's put a TU van. All right. And so now if we look at that, that ride object, you can see that it's got all of its data set up. So I can now do r.save and it's going to store that into the database. Notice that it did the insert 
to make that happen. So now I can do uh, u.ridesProvided again. And we can see that it's got that ride provided with all its data. And that's how we can set up a ride that's being provided for others to use. We would do something similar except via u.rides for people who are going on someone else's ride rather than allowing people to, to ride along with them. And so I just wanted to show that to highlight how we connect those relationships between those different models.